the Android 11 release has reached platform stability with Beta 2. Let's talk about how this fits into the Android release schedule, what you as an app developer should do, and when to make your app compatible with Android 11. Spoiler alert, it's now. There are a lot of moving parts to releasing an OS, and we're careful as to how we manage developer impact. To provide users on the newest version of the OS with the best experience, it's important to make sure that your app is working on the latest version of Android 11. Over the next year, you should also set your target SDK to Android 11, which will allow you and your users to take advantage of the most of the OS. Let's take a step back and look at Android release schedule over the course of the year. Developer previews is where we begin, and typically runs through the spring. It's the first public release we do and is tailored specifically so app developers can kick the tires and file feedback. It's also a good time to test API behaviors, including those gated behind target SDK. You can test this easily using the app impacting changes screen. Check out our other videos for more information on this. We've actively adjusted APIs and feature design based on what we've heard. So thanks. The next phase is a set of betas, which started in June. Beta is when usage grows dramatically. This all means lots of users. That's why by beta, you should test and convert your app. Make sure it's working and fully functional and adopt any new features. You're now able to publish apps to devices running Android 11 at the official API level. These apps can be published into the Google Play Alpha and beta tracks first, so that you can test your apps before distributing broadly through the store. New in Android 11, we're introducing a milestone called Platform Stability in order to help you plan your final testing and releases. This milestone means that Android 11 has not only reached the final internal and external APIs, but also final app-facing behaviors and final non-SDK lists. From this point on, you can expect no further changes affecting your app's behavior. Platform Stability is reached with Beta 2, and that's out now. We encourage all developers to use the platform stability milestone as a target for planning final compatibility testing and public release. Using platform stability instead of final platform release gives you time to ensure your app is working before users start receiving the new OS on their devices. For SDK and library developers, targeting platform stability for final testing is critical. Downstream app and game developers may be blocked until your SDKs and libraries are published to support Android 11. After beta, we'll move to RCs and final release. The final release each year is one will bump target SDK to the previous OS version. The target SDK requirement is N minus one. So at Android 11, target SDK level will be Android 10 and so on. Wherever we can, we've placed developer impacting changes behind target SDK, and we've designed this to give you a year's notice. This enables us to move Android forward while giving you maximum time to adapt your app. To learn more and stay up to date with what's new, check out developer.android.com for more on what's available. It has release notes, migration guides, feature documentation, and more information on what you need to do to get your app ready for Android 11. Mm -hmm.